Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. In case you're wondering why there hasn't been any four-wheeling videos up recently, well, two main reasons. Reason number one is we have an extremely high fire risk right now. We have all kinds of wildfires burning uh, in our backcountry where we would normally be wheeling, so we're trying to stay away from up there. We don't want to be a part of the problem. We want to be a part of the solution, so we can just stay away there is a ton of firefighters up there. They got water bombers, helicopters, all that stuff up there. So we don't want to get in the way. So I'll insert a couple pictures here of what's going on. Furthermore, the other reason is we're waiting for a ton of parts to start the build on the F-350. And they were scheduled for about five days ago. But unfortunately, the courier got substantially delayed. And I got notification yesterday that... It's finally here. So we're gonna head on down to FedEx and pick up our first upgrades for the 350. So yeah, stay with me. We got our winch. Let me show you what we got. I'm a little bit concerned here, but let me turn you around. There we go. We got our Trucker Series winch for the truck, but I am a little bit concerned with this. Gonna have to uh, get it home and unbox it and check it for damage, but yeah, there's our first uh, upgrade for the truck. Let's get back on the road. All right, while we're sitting here, it reminds me, I gotta get one of these. My uh, charger for my laptop decided to crap out thing was like 9,000 degrees <laughs> actually my foot touched it when I was uh, going through some of my old video footage uh, damn near burnt my foot so we got to go get one of these so let's go do that so I'm glad the winch came kind of wish my uh, bumper would have been here first would have been nice to get that installed, but whatever. Make do, I guess. But yeah, we'll get uh, get on the road. We'll go get our charger, hopefully. And then uh, we'll go back and unbox that winch. Hopefully it's okay. I mean, it's that box is pretty buggered up right on the motor side. They're a little bit concerned. But we'll deal with that if, if we have to. Yeah, like I was saying, we have some pretty serious wildfires going on right now. One in particular is really close to town. So close, in fact, that they've actually had to evacuate the hospital, which should kind of say right there just how severe it really is. Uh, not to mention we have a severe air quality warning because of all the smoke. Uh, kind of hard to see today because we do have some overcast, but it's definitely hazy out there. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to stay away from the bush. You know, I'll go out and I'll do rescues and whatnot if we have to, but we want to stay away. With, like I said, we don't want to be a part of the problem. So, And it's really easy for any of our vehicles really to create a fire. I mean, look at my Jeep. That thing, if that would have happened in the back country that would have been thousands of hectares burning with the way that thing went so yeah oh yeah and let's let's talk about the jeep for a minute so it's jeep's done it's gone I've sold it i'm totally going a different direction i can't bring myself i have no trust in it. i've got no faith in it blah 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 yeah i get a lot of hate for it guys i'm not a jeep guy never have been as i stated in my video when i got the jeep I never liked Jeeps. Um, 
I liked what it could do off-road, but I didn't like really anything else about it. So, I'm not a Jeep guy. Go ahead, hate me for that. I'm a truck guy, clearly. I've got six, seven F-350s under my belt. So, I know these trucks inside now, and this truck is the perfect one for me to do a build on. Uh, it's got low mileage. It's all bulletproofed. It's going to be... It's gonna be good. My kids love this so much better. They love driving in this. They hated driving in the Jeep. They like driving in the truck. So, yeah, let's get back on the road and hope that we can go find a uh, charger. So. Well, we're gonna try this place here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we're one for one. Hopefully they have what we need and we don't have to run around town trying to locate a charger I mean it should be pretty standard it is it's an HP laptop so hopefully uh, we do that but man this parking lot isn't meant for big trucks so I just had to do a bit of a detour to get into their lot so yeah let's uh, let's see what they've got Well, after jumping out and checking their door, it would appear they're not open yet. Uh, I got about five minutes to wait, so yeah, we'll just hang tight for a couple minutes and hopefully they have it. All right, open signs on, let's go. All right, we got it. That's the crappy one. This is the, the new one. So he actually managed to uh, hook me up with just a HP replacement rather than my, my other one was, uh, what do they call it? A universal, blah, blah, blah. So kind of nice having the actual HP one and this guy really hooked me up. So let's get at it. Literally been driving for 30 seconds and we just got a phone call saying that my exhaust system has arrived. So we are going to drive down, pick up our exhaust system. I'm doing a uh, four inch turbo back. I won't, I won't bore you with that. That's uh, pretty lame. <laughs> driving around, picking up stuff, running errands. So I'm going to go pick up the exhaust. I ordered that from a local diesel shop, uh, Dirty Diesel in Kelowna. Those guys are pretty rad. I've gotten uh, quite a few things from them guys for one of my older trucks there. So they managed to give me a screaming deal on a full kit. I mean, you, you can't complain for what I'm paying for a kit at all. So I'm gonna go grab that and we may install that tomorrow. We'll see, we'll, um, we'll wing it for, for now. We'll see. Um, I thought that dog was gonna run out. Um, yeah, so with that being said, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I assure you, we will get back to our regular scheduled program shortly. But in the meantime, we're going to do some tinkering here and there on the truck. So, yeah, don't forget to enter our, our winch giveaway if you, if you haven't already. Um, we're getting very close to giving that to giving that away so let's get at it